Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's GTA 5 video We are going to be talking about some insane details regarding the next Grand Theft Auto Online update And how we finally might be getting a full-fledged Cops and Crooks DLC So this information is coming from insider Tez Funds 2 who put out this tweet last night and then followed up with some information on the GTA forum site which we'll talk about as well He said as I was checking some stuff I found something interesting. This interesting thing is telling me it is possible the next GTA Online update might introduce roles or the cut cops and crooks mode is coming back. Basically something like Free Roam Mark II. Now before we talk about that, let's discuss what he found which he goes into detail on the GTA forum site. He said, while I was checking the decompiled scripts, a piece of code caught my eye. It was so interesting and useless at the same time. He says, what's the big deal, you may ask? Well, first of all, this is useless. The global variable isn't used, nor is this function used properly. It's like you ask someone a question, what's your favorite game, and they respond GTA 5. But in this case, it's more like, what's your favorite game? Let me check my list of favorite games, GTA 5. It would make sense to give a direct answer, right? This function is supposed to select a script from a list, but there's only one at the moment, which is, in quotes, free mode underscore I-N-I-T. But why does it have to check a list when there's only one script? That's the interesting part. I believe with the next update, there will be another script that may be selected instead of free mode I-N-I-T. What does this mean in English? If this is related to the next DLC, then the next one is probably a big deal because that means Rockstar is working on changing free mode, as in changing your playstyle. Think of Cops and Crooks. That cut mode was supposed to be another version of the current free mode we have. It wasn't supposed to be an adversary mode nor a mission. We may be getting a true Cops and Crooks or the next update is something like Red Dead Online Rolls. You sign up for a role and do something related to your role. So holy smokes, that is a lot of information to take in there. Let's sort of digest what Insider Tez Funds 2 has found. So basically, he found a script in the files that asked for you to basically check what type of free roam session you're in. Well, as it currently stands, there's only one. So that means that Rockstar is planning something for the future, and Tez Funds 2 gave us essentially three possibilities is that this was going to be like free roam events part two. And I don't think Rockstar would do that. Remember the free roam events that Rockstar introduced? I think it was like back in 2015. It was a really small update. It didn't introduce any new vehicles, no new clothing, no new guns. But what it did is it introduced like free roam events that would happen like every 12 or 15 minutes or whatever the case is. They were kind of fun, but not a lot of people participated in them. So it was kind of an update that was unique, but not a lot of people really enjoyed, at least in my personal opinion. So I'm not sure how a second one of those would work. Maybe Rockstar would improve those free roam events that they introduced back in 2015, or maybe they would be a completely different type. The next thing he talks about is this could be the cut cops and crooks mode. Now, in case you guys have no idea what I'm talking about with the cut cops and crooks mode, I'll put some screenshots on the screen right now. Uh, these are like beta images of what Grand Theft Auto Online was supposed to look like. And essentially, cops and crooks was the original concept of Grand Theft Auto Online. It was actually going to be a separate free roam from the regular free roam, like two modes of free roam, if that makes any sense. And uh, cops and crooks was going to be one of those modes. And you guys can see here that you would have been able to play as a cop. There was a big emphasis on like gang activity and uh, various parts of the map that were either controlled by one faction or another. It was really cool. And it, this obviously never turned out to be what Grand Theft Auto Online was. Obviously, we've been playing the version that you know, Rockstar intended for the last couple of years now. So I honestly don't know if Rockstar were to bring back the cut cops and crooks mode, would it be the exact same one from like before the game launched? Or if it would be an altered version to what we would expect in 2019 for Grand Theft Auto Online. And the final thing he hypothesizes is that it could be something like the roles in Red Dead Online. Now in a perfect world, that would be kind of fun. But Red Dead Online's engine is different than GTA Online's engine. There's a lot of things that are different there. So I'm not sure Rockstar would just be able to say, okay, 
let's bring over the same roles, obviously not like bounty hunting and collecting, but you know, like a modern GTA version of roles to online. It might not be possible because they're two separate games. Although that would be cool and I'm starting to think, you know, what roles Rockstar would provide for our players and online. Now, Insider Test Funds 2 follows up with some more details. When he first uh, talked about this new stuff, uh, a lot of people were skeptical, uh, saying, you know, Rockstar probably realized they had ruined the game. And he said, it's not exactly a new free roam as in them making everything from scratch. They are just going to make adjustments to the current free roam we have. It may end up as a new free roam, which may separate the players. Some features from the original free roam may be disabled in this new free roam. It's just the same free roam, but with a different look. You may experience the same bugs you did in the original. So again, we know so little details right now. I don't know how this is going to work, but Insider Test Funds 2 says you might be put in like a separate lobby. Although that kind of goes against Rockstar's MO as they've said in the past that they like keeping everyone together. And that's one of the reasons why they've never charged for any of the DLCs is because they want the player base to remain all in the same lobby. So I don't know how switching sessions or getting people in separate lobbies would work. But anyways, as sort of a follow up to that, he said, I found one more function. This one limits the number of players available in a session. Whatever this new free roam uh, mode is, it may not be available for 30 players as the regular free roam. Interesting. So it looks like whatever Rockstar is planning looks to be for a smaller scale of players. Now, we don't know what that amount is. Will it be cut in half like 15? Will it be limited to something super small like what we see with the CEO and MC stuff like between four or eight players? Again, at this point, we know so little information that it's unclear what Rockstar is actually planning here. Now, Insider Test Funds 2 was not the only one to talk about this. Former Rockstar Games insider Yan2295 replied to the situation saying, I don't think bringing the cut cops and crooks stuff would make sense now that we're a bunch of criminal kingpins with huge empires. Other roles could work, though, similar to Red Dead Online. And that's actually one of the things that I was about to mention. Remember that Rockstar leaker on 4chan? who gave us some information on like the bikers update and import export. He basically confirmed that the reason cops and crooks didn't exist is because we are criminals and that it would never make sense for us to become the good guy. So instead of it being the original version, what Rockstar had planned like in 2010, 2011, before the game came out, it might be a sort of crooked version of cops and crooks. So instead of being a good guy cop, we might end up being a bad guy cop, which would make sense. It would kind of align with our criminal kingpin-esque features that we're actually working with cops, but we're doing so in a dirty, crooked way where we're still trying to benefit us and the bad guys and not necessarily going around handing out parking tickets or arresting criminals. Now, this wouldn't be the first time in Grand Theft Auto Online that cops have been featured. We've seen them been used as the bad guy on multiple occasions that our characters are fighting, or we might have to like infiltrate a police station as a part of a heist. So one of the reasons why I think this could also work so well is Rockstar has like a lot of built-in infrastructure like the police stations, the police cars, and the uniforms. However, one thing I would like to see, and that's why I'm a little bit worried about them doing strictly a free roam update is, you know, would they add tangible things for us to buy uh, and for us to purchase, like finally being able to have the cop uniforms? And what about all the police vehicles in game? I mean, I'm sure you guys remember this like concept website that was created that has every single like Grand Theft Auto police vehicle available for sale. It would be cool if we were working with dirty cops to be able to, you know, dress up like the police officers and, you know, drive the vehicle. So still have some aspect of role playing here and not just make it strictly a free roam event where once we're done with the event, you know, it's back to normal. It's back to being a criminal kingpin. I would like to see Rockstar add some tangible things if this is indeed the update. So it's not just like strictly a free roam event. So what's my overall opinion on this? I'm really not too sure. I'm excited, obviously, about the idea of Cops and Crooks because I think that's an official mode or free roam DLC that Grand Theft Auto Online has needed for a while now. However, I'm worried Rockstar dipping their toe back into the free roam stuff because that DLC we got in 2015 was really not all that great. And I think it would be disappointing if that's all we got 
in the December update, which is traditionally a big DLC month for GTA 5. So right now I'm kind of on the fence. It sounds really cool, but honestly it would all come down to Rockstar's execution of it. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What would you think if the December 2019 update or the next DLC for Grand Theft Auto Online uh, featured something like Cops and Crooks or maybe even roles that we've seen in Red Dead Online? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.